Want to grow these for autumn? Well, let's get started. Hi guys, it is June 10th and we are out here with the Jack B. Little Pumpkins. Okay, today is June 18th and we are looking at those Jack B. Little Pumpkins. And you can see just how tall they have gotten. Hi guys, today is June 28th. This is a good little shot. I'm sure something's going to get pollinated in here. Look at all these nodules down here also. Alright. Okay, today is July 5th. Very, very nice. Very pleased. I am going to take this little bit of space and hole where I have nothing planted, which is pretty easy to dig up, and I'm going to compost all of this stuff right here. I'm concerned about the concrete underneath here, because that is going to be heated up. You know, they act as a solar bank. Look at all the nodules here on this. You can come in and maybe trim a little bit of these yellowish leaves. I am noticing that pumpkins have a little bit of a earthy smell to them, which might not be so good if you want to put them underneath a window that you enjoy sitting and reading by. So something for you to think about there. Hi guys, today is July 20th. Can you see our pumpkin right there? That is getting a little bit bigger. It's just green. It's this beautiful little light green in there. Let's see? Right there. In. Dead in the middle of your television now. Can you see all the pollinators? thirty in the morning. Nobody has started running any type of machinery. And I see another one right here. You can also see to where the groundhogs have come in here. And are starting to destroy stuff. Obviously not please. Oh look I can easily access that. There we go. I don't want to get around in here and fumble too much. I did the other day and knocked one over. That was probably about half of this size. And it seems to bother the pollinators as well. You see this big long strip where the leaves are not. The groundhogs are really, really irritating me. It's so densely packed in here. Can you see those buzzing around? I mean, they are constantly in these pumpkin blossoms every time I come out here. <sighs> yeah, so it's so densely. Um, look, at, look at all that. Look at all of these gorgeous blooms. We've had Look at all these pollinators. Can you see all of these buzzing around? And I haven't really been getting in here and rooting around, but I can see we've got another one started here. And it seems like I could see one over here. Ooh, I just hear those bees. Can you hear them? Look at them. Look at them. Yep, that's the one that has got the, I don't even want to put my hand down there. Behind there, you can kind of see the bulb. Okay, I have thoroughly peppered these up just using 
regular Kroger pepper because the groundhogs kept coming around the perimeter here and eating my leaves. So, after it finally stopped raining, let things dry out a little bit, sprinkled some stuff on the perimeter, and they really haven't been eating. I have not come out here and found anything decimated with the pumpkins, um, both kinds of pumpkins actually, or any of the watermelon. They basically took all of the watermelon. But look, look at all these pollinators. This, this is very fantastic. Sometimes I sit in this window here and I can then get the view coming this way and see all of these pollinators just really enjoying this um, in the early summer morning. Here, I don't, I don't have anything at all in this pot. I really just used it as weight because underneath I dug my hole, I buried my compost in place, I did not want anything to dig it up, so I put the weight of this on it so nothing could. There we go, isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous little green one. I haven't really looked in here. Got around and rummaged around in here because I didn't want to knock the pepper off. I think they thought I was crazy at Kroger when I bought three big peppers. They were on sale though. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here's one that's starting to be orange. You can see, look at this. We've got some issue here. Okay, I got some mold in here. Definitely gotten onto that plant a little bit. Here's another one, a little bit lighter. They get darker as they go along. Here's one in mid change. Another one here. And that stems dark green. Oh, look, here's another one that's incredibly dark green right here. Gorgeous, beautiful. So that's exciting to me. Uh, let's get around this way because there were some really small ones. Okay, these look like a nice new, baby new fluorescent color. And you can see back here, this one's starting to change. Bigger, starting to change. I think I see one that was, oh, there's a little squash bug. Did you see that? Oh, right here, right here. There we go. I think that's the, the infant of the group at the moment. Let's see all the pepper I've got on the floor here. So here's another orange one back here. So it's going to be interesting to see when this is all said and done, how many of these tiny little ornamental pumpkins that I'm going to have for my Halloween and Thanksgiving. Uh, decoration. See all these bees around here still? Here's a new little pumpkin right here. You can see that on the side. It's going to be nice. Um, I do find it a little aggravating though that you do have to come out and repepper after each rain, especially when it only rains for maybe about an hour. I feel like I'm spending a lot of money and time peppering and I wanted things to be a no fuss. And yeah, this would be a nice no fuss garden if I didn't have to contend with groundhogs. But that does not seem to be what's going on here. I do notice that they kind of eat less and less after they have been trained that Ooh, there's a lot of pepper out here. Doesn't taste too good to me. Look at that beautiful blossom. This area over here still looking quite yellowish. Oh, oh, this is what I seen the other day, which I thought was kind of odd.
this. Not quite shaped as a pumpkin at all. Looks more like a gourd. guys today is the 27th of August and we've got another little one coming up here which I think will probably survive it's past its infancy um, point because it's bigger over here these pollinators absolutely love it out here and I've got the pepper still on the perimeter to Board off the groundhogs, but you can see they've gotten this, they got this leaf. The wind is going to take the pepper off, the rain is going to take the pepper off. And when you start having new growth like this, you have to come out and pepper them. So I love that it worked. It is a short term solution. And here's our lovely pumpkins, some of them. And another one past its infancy point. And you can see how close they came. They ate this leaf, but left this, or it didn't develop at that point. And you can see here, some of our leaves are starting to get a little died out. It's almost September. They're getting ready. They're at the end of their shift. Really. Hi guys. Today is September 20th and Fiona here and I, we are harvesting our Jack the Little Pumpkins. She's very interested in as well. So those all came from the back here. So let's look at a few here at the front. This is still a little green. Let's hear if we can hear that snap with this one. Huh? Yep, that's it. When you hear that snap and they're this color, they're ready to be picked and harvested. And look at this, solid green. This one might not be so ready, but I'm gonna take it anyway. Start to frost. And I'm kind of ready for this to be done with anyway. Get the, it, you can see that it blocks the hose. Here's another one. Let's see if we can't get this one picked. This one looks new. Okay, and you, that we're having some resistance because that was not completely ready. Because the bees are, they're going to continue to pollinate. It's not like they pollinate uh, 90 days out because these take 90 days. They love this spot and they're going to keep going as long as it's available. Now you can see on this one how I don't have a stem and that's because it was not ready. So when it kind of looks like when you pull your tomato off, it just wasn't ready. But it doesn't matter if you're going to use these for ornamental anyway. You can just kind of put those at the bottom of your display for height. And no one's really going to know that anyway. And that's what I'm going to use this for. <laughs> I have got so many pumpkins this year with the blue pumpkin here over to the side i just showed you and then all of that greenery back there is the blue pumpkins and i have about 150 pounds these are the blue doll hybrid if you want to watch that video so i see a few more here that i'm gonna need to maybe carefully get to and snap up this one's cute. This has got a lot of green speckle in it. So lots of variety. Kind of easier with two hands. There we go. Oh, see, it wasn't ready. It snapped right off. It's okay. I'm still going to use it. And this is probably going to be the same thing right here.
There it goes. There we go. Let's collect the other one. I'm really going to need to have two hands from this point out. So we'll go ahead and we'll call that a day of our pumpkin harvest on camera anyway. Let me see how many I've got here so far. So here I've got 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 28 at this point. See, look, still trying to get in there and pollinate. So they keep making more little babies. All right, you guys, after I've pulled everything out here, this is all of the pumpkins that we got. I did use my rubberized gloves on this. And I did use my scissors on some of the greener, more stubborn topped ones that were younger. Like this one was younger, <laughs> not fully developed. And you can tell too because the stem's wet. There's still moisture in that stem. And something like a browner one like this, there's really not a lot of moisture in there. Or I should say there's less. And you can see how much dead was on this vine. That, along with the brown stems, is a tip that these are done. Another tip is that they're still going to be growing, but they're not going to be growing as vigorously as they did during June july august they definitely start to slow down and you can see these little squash bugs they're looking for where to go that was another reason why it was just time to be done with it especially i'm not eating these these are all ornamental so it, it was just time and they were starting to get a little bit invasive of the sitting area here so we got all that back I can clean all of this up I am not right now I'm just gonna let this be I'm gonna get, let nature dry it out I'm gonna let the Sun dry this out and I have segmented those away so that the sun will take care of it the squash bugs will understand this is dead or in a couple days they'll get the clue hi guys today is october 20th and i want you to see how the jackby little pumpkins turned out and this is my view on the couch where i enjoy my television as most people do enjoy their television. And let's have a little peeky deek here. This one here we'd seen before. I pointed that out, how that was really kind of odd and oblong. But it does take quite a considerable amount in that basket. So it helped to sort of bulk them up because it raises them up. And I can see all of their cute little stems from sitting um excuse me, on my couch. Um, I did get quite a variety of different colors. Like I've got stripes here, which I really love. It has this little veiny look to it. And I got just speckles, lots of just speckles. I got some that were almost all orange, I guess you could say. Here and here. And this is one of my favorites that's speckled. But it has that imprint of the leaf. So the leaf was under it. And it's, I mean, I guess I could flake it off. But I really don't want to. I think that's kind of cute like that. So I'm going to leave that alone. And got lots of little, little cute petite ones. You can see the... The flower's still on this one. It's not going to hurt anything. We'll leave it right there. And some almost green ones. With a little bit of wartiness on here.
Look at this one. This one's pretty adorable too. When you look at it this way, <laughs> the back of it is very warty. And again, I left the little bloom on the back of that. You can take it off if you want, but it's not gonna hurt anything. So I'm going to reposition this because I like to see this one from the couch. I like to see that right there. Okay, I also want to point out a few things. But first, there's the Jack B. Little on, is it this month's October 2021 edition? And so I thought that was very fitting for us. So I've got a little list here. And so these are also, okay, these are Jack B. Little, obviously, you know that from the title. They're also known as Little Sweeties. They weigh about three to four ounces. The diameter is two inch to three inches. I'm starting to lose my phone. There we go. The vines themselves will produce anywhere from six to eight fruit a piece. They are open pollinators. And we could really kind of see that on the video prior because the bees absolutely love them. They are vigorous and prolific, and we could also see that on the video prior as well. And if cured carefully, these things can last up to about 12 months. They're usually used for ornamental reasons, but you can actually eat these. You can use these in soups, you can stuff them, you can bake them, you can complement them with butter, brown sugar, and maple syrup. All the staples of a fall diet. <laughs> I don't know how much of a diet that is. Hi, today is January 17th, and we are looking at these Jack B. Little pumpkins. It's way past autumn, and you can see on here that they are getting moldy. See that? And I've had one that's already sort of rot and decomposed. So it is time for me to chuck these out, but I really don't want to just throw them in the trash. So what we're going to do is compost them. Just a nice, easy winter way. Um, I'm using these Kroger pickup bags, which are nice and thick, and I have cut holes in them. First of all, I've rolled this up about three or four times, and I've cut just a little bit of a hole here, a little bit of a hole here and here. Kind of like when you make um, Christmas snowflakes, that's all I did. And then when you undo them, you've got air holes. Doesn't need to be precise, doesn't need to be big. If you can see over here, it's just enough so that this can breathe. Okay. Oh, hey, I also wanted to show you what these look like inside when I cut them open. They still look really nice. They smell like a normal pumpkin would. I'm not a big fan of pumpkin. It doesn't smell rotten. It just smells like pumpkin. Um, the seeds, I have plenty of seeds already. Remember, these were volunteers. And the way that I've started this, okay, so let's say this is step one, the Kroger bags. And then we had step two, cutting the holes in them. And then step three is I just put some shredded paper in here. Because when this stuff starts to break down, I feel that paper is more absorbent than the dry leaves. Because the water, a lot of times, just rolls right off of this until it gets to a certain point to where it is broken down. So just a little bit, so it's going to kind of catch the juice. Not that pumpkins are that juicy but the decomp juices of those pumpkins. And then I went outside, grabbed myself some leaves, and then the last step, next to last step, is you're just gonna put your pumpkins in here. I'm gonna continue to put more pumpkins on here 
And then my last step is I'm going to take this outside, put just a little bit more layer of leaves on here, and we're just gonna tie it up, and I'm gonna leave it outside for the winter, and I'm gonna let it do its thing. You could put all of these pumpkins in the freezer if you wanted. You could just put them in a bag. You don't need any holes. You could just put it in a bag, put it in your freezer, unthaw it. Dig yourself a hole in the spring when the ground unthaws and just bury everything. Mine's full. I don't really have a choice and I kind of want to experiment with this anyway. Okay, if you liked the video, hope you did. If you would subscribe, that would be very sweet. It does not cost you a penny to do so, but it does help all of the content creators out there. And right now, we need some help. Thank you so much. Love to you. Goodbye. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you would be so kind to subscribe and to like, that would be very sweet of you. Have a fantastic day. Love you.